Welcome to Sew Very Easy. My name is Laura, and do you like to travel with an emergency sewing kit? Well, we can custom make them, and we can also make them small. Using empty lip gloss and lipstick containers work great. So what we're going to need are some empty lip gloss containers. And if we can take the labels off, that's great. And to clean them. Start with using a makeup remover and then just use alcohol and that alcohol will help take any of the grease off that's inside. As you use the lip gloss, there's a little screw with a disc that pushes the lip gloss up as it's used. It'll go so far then it won't be able to go any further up. It also will not go any further down. The reason is, is because it's come off of that screw head. So you're going to be able to push this little disc down as you're turning it to get that screw head to attach back onto that piece. You can also just remove that little piece inside. So what it will look like inside is this little plastic screw and that screw fits into this little plunger. It starts at the bottom and as you screw it up this will come to the surface pushing the lip gloss or lipstick to the top. If you've gone too far it's just like a screw head it'll come out. So if you want to leave that on you just need to push down as you turn and eventually that screw will pick that little piece up and it will start to go back down to the bottom. Some of them are attached right onto the bottom, like this particular one. Some containers you can take right apart and take those pieces out. You don't necessarily need to move this up and down because whatever you put inside, you're going to be able to shake out. Once they're all clean, we're going to be able to make these into little traveling containers. You do want a container that locks so that the lid does not come off. And we want that lid to be on good and secure so that the pins and needles will stay inside. The next thing we'll be filling are little containers. And this will go for any size container. Make sure your plunger is all the way down to the bottom or remove it completely so you have an empty tube. And from there, we're going to want to put some sewing needles with thread. And coffee stir sticks are going to work great for this project. You can use the coffee stir stick that has the two holes in it or it's like a little straw. The first thing we want to do is to determine the size. We're going to be able to put that coffee stir stick in and use that as a measurement. Some are definitely going to have a longer end than others. That size is going to determine the size of the needle that we're going to be able to use to store in these containers. Put the coffee stir stick right inside, pull it out, and that's where you know you're going to need to trim that. These little sewing needles are going to have to fit inside that little straw. It's going to be a great way to protect them. Once we have two hand needles, we're going to be able to thread them. And this is going to be our bobbin, or the threader. Because I've used the one with the two holes in the end, I'm going to wrap thread on one side and the needle's going to go in the one end, wrap thread on the second side and the needle's going to go in the other side. What I need to do is put little notches to sort of hold the thread, just like we have those little notches at the end of the spools to hold the thread. That's what we're going to duplicate here. You could do it with a little exacto knife, just put tiny little marks one on each end and put one on the top and one in the bottom. The little notch just needs to be enough to hold a piece of thread. A little notch up at the top on each end. Now we get to thread the needle. It's easier to thread your needle now than when you're somewhere where the lighting might not be so great and we're only going to need enough thread that we would normally use for hand sewing. I'm going to put a knot on one end of that thread Anything that I can do now will save me time. That little knot will fit in that little notch that we made. So that's 
that little notch is just going to hold that. And I'm going to take that thread and wrap it right along, coming up to the top. And then I put that needle into one of the holes, the side with the notch. Drop that right in that end. Pull the top of that thread into that little notch just to secure it. So I have one side done and I can do the next side. I'm going to use black and white. Now you can use any color that you normally wear or you can make more than one of these. I just wind up my next thread until I get close to the top. I can take that needle and stick it into one of the other sides. I now have two needles and thread. It will be very easy for me just to take that out and use it whenever I need it. And then it's very easy to reload if you ever need to. This will fit right inside. You can also put a couple of pins and if it's big enough you can add some buttons. Now when it's closed my sewing needles are safe. The larger the container the more you can put in. You can also decorate these ends. Duct tape is a great thing. You can get so many pretty different types of duct tape. You can fancy it up a bit. If you choose not to use a container, this is small enough, you can put it in your wallet. And there's some areas that you can just tuck this in and it'll always be there. I now have one for my purse, one for my car, and one for my toiletry bag. So it's an easy way to make our own emergency sewing kit. Thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're sewing or not sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.